Hey guys, what's up? Guess who's back with another video? This girl right here, and this girl is going dress shopping. So, I'm so freaking excited. For those of you who don't know, I'm engaged. I got engaged a few months ago. Um, if you wanna hear about that, you can go to my two videos ago. I explain everything about my engagement. Um, and I've already picked a venue, which I showed you guys. I went venue shopping, and now I am going dress shopping. So obviously, this is gonna be like a long process. Today, I'm just going to David's Bridal. Tomorrow, I'm going to another, like a bridal boutique, and then I'm probably not gonna shop for a while again until my bridesmaids come and visit me for my birthday and we're all gonna go shopping hopefully um they allow them to come in because of covid and stuff so we'll figure that out when the time comes but as of now i'm going dress shopping today for the first time ever and i'm so freaking excited i've obviously like a lot of people have never tried on a wedding dress before so it's gonna be so like weird and surreal i feel like it like hasn't like it's hit me that i'm like a fiance but like that i'm like getting married like you know what i mean like i'm getting married and i feel like it hasn't like really hit me and then when i see myself in a wedding dress i'm gonna be like <laughs> i'm freaking getting married i personally haven't dreamed of like my actual wedding i didn't dream of it as a kid but i like always thought about my wedding dress and like my opinions have changed through the years and i don't know why but like i never really considered like the centerpieces how things are gonna look but more like literally just the wedding dress um and so when i was like in high school and stuff i really liked the a-line and i really liked like tool and like super romantic and now i'm like kind of leaning more towards like mermaid um and i have been for a past for the past few years like mermaid or like trumpet style like sheath like something that would like show my figure a little bit but like still elegant and romantic if that makes sense but part of me is still like i kind of want to try on like a cute princess like a-line dress not like a poofy poofy dress but like you know a-line um so yeah, today I'm just gonna try on a bunch of dresses. This appointment is mostly just for me to like start feeling a little bit like what I like and like what I want in a dress. Um, my wedding is in July and it is September. And so um, obviously I have like 10 months. I have a lot of time, but I wanted to start early just cause I've read a lot of tips about not going too late because the later you go like you have to pay for like expedited stuff and like you'll be a little stressed out because like if you have to get alterations and like everything it's just going to be like kind of scary um like ordering a dress too late so i figured if i start looking now i can order my dress in like december or january probably january and then like feel secure about it um yeah so I'm super excited. I'm just going with my mom, my grandma, and Sam's mom um, today just to like start. And I'm really excited just to like be with the most important women in my life <laughs> and just like shop for dresses. Um, I obviously don't have like my bridesmaids or my maid of honor here right now. They don't live in Texas. A lot of my bridal party doesn't live in Texas. Only two of them do. And I kind of just wanted this time to like be with my family and obviously my future family, my mother-in-law soon to be. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited and I'm excited to take you guys with me. So yeah, let's get into the video. You can take the train. No, it's pretty in the back. So it goes all the way out and kind of. So I just wanted to explain because I realized that I haven't explained entirely what was going on. So this dress, the dress that you just saw, the first dress that I tried on, I thought was the one. Like I literally was so in love with it um, in the store and um, it was like my top pick 
for a long time and if i'm being honest i don't think that i would have been unhappy wearing it on my wedding day but after trying on other dresses and finding a dress that i loved um i realized that i wouldn't be as happy as i could be in that dress um so just for reference that was the first choice for a while so hey guys so it's actually a few hours later like my stuffed animals i got home about around like 7 and my appointment was at 4 30 and it was only supposed to be like an hour long and i was there till 6 30 um i hope you guys like the footage it's just hard to like imagine it in my size you know what i mean because they're all like the sample sizes are like four six eight ten and i am a zero just keep that in mind like when you're going to go shopping for wedding dresses like if you're small or if you're bigger um a lot of the times the sample sizes run like four to ten um and so if you're bigger than that or smaller than that you're just not going to see what the dress actually looks like um and obviously like people like to add things um you need it hemmed if you're short like me or um you want like sleeves added blah 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 and sometimes it's like really hard to envision that when you're standing there and all you have are like clamps in the back of your dress and it's not like fully pulled yeah i have another bridal appointment tomorrow at this little boutique in austin called bestow bridal if you guys want to check it out they have a sister boutique Hi, sister. Ah! called signature bridal which is like pretty popular here but their dresses are more expensive um bestow bridal are like one of a kind dresses like on the cheaper end so it starts at 500 and most of their dresses are under a thousand which is so great because i need under a thousand i'm looking for like on the cheaper end obviously and that's mostly because i don't want to like break the bank on my wedding i was talking to my mom about this in the car and this is something like everybody's different everybody some people are obviously in different financial situations when i was younger i used to dream a little bit about my wedding and when i met sam i um have become way more excited for the actual marriage than the wedding and so because the whole point isn't about the dress it's not about how things look if everything goes perfectly it's about th the celebration of a marriage like it's about us celebrating coming together in unity it's not about us like celebrating the actual party if that makes sense like the wedding shouldn't be about like everything has to be perfect this has to be a perfect dress like blah 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 i know it's your like special day it's my special day and i'm so excited for it but i'm excited for my wedding because i'm going to be marrying the love of my life and my best friend I'm just so excited so tomorrow i'm going dress shopping again and i'll take you guys with me and yeah i'll see you tomorrow hi guys so i'm going wedding dress shopping again today yesterday i went to david's bridal as you guys saw found a beautiful dress but i have another appointment today i just got out of ballet class so that's why i'm like i look like this um but i just did my everyday makeup yesterday and I was like still feeling myself, you know, but I kind of wanted to do like something a little bit more like bridal today. Something just a little more zhuzhed up with intermission. <laughs> uh, a little more zhuzhed. 
zhuzhed up because I just want to feel like really bridal and like I'm obviously I'm not about to do the makeup I'm going to do on my wedding day but I really want to just like feel I don't know more more bridal yeah feel me I'm really so so freaking excited for today I need to go wet my beauty blender another intermission <laughs> I'm back i'm so excited for today because this boutique has like really beautiful things in their collection their prices are like actually like really affordable so i'm so freaking excited um yeah i still am really in love with that dress i tried on yesterday at david's bridal which i didn't think i would find anything that i loved on my very first um excursion wow Crazy what a little bit of foundation will do. <laughs> Are you ready? Do what? We have to go at 3.30. Oh my god. Did you forget? Yeah. Shoot. It's okay. You have time. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Anywho. I think on my wedding day, I'm going to... Well, you guys will see, but I'm going to do a video about like me trying a bunch of makeup i think i want to do like creams like i want to do like cream bronzer um maybe not cream maybe cream blush like just a lot of creams and then powder over if i want just to like set it in place but also i know creams look so much more natural than um powder sometimes so oh i don't have a brush for my blush yeah i'm thinking like a light to medium coverage foundation I still want my skin to look like skin. So if you have any recommendations for foundations that like still look like your skin, please let me know because I've been thinking like maybe I should just spot conceal on my wedding day like I normally do. But then I was like, no, you want like a covered face. I just want something that looks like my skin. So, um, that's the dealio with that. So I've been using this eyeshadow palette. It's by Pro Fusion, and I know, like, it's, like, really cheap from, um, I got mine at HEB, but obviously you can get it from, I think they have it at Walmart and Target, maybe Target, I don't know, but I've actually heard of this from someone on YouTube, I don't remember who, maybe it was Kelly something, Kelly Strack or something, um, and let me tell you, it is so good for the money. Am I like a beauty YouTuber? <laughs> I'm not out of breath for some reason. And I think it's one because I'm talking literally so much. Because I'm trying to like get out all of my word vomit. But also because I'm like so like excited but like a little anxious that I'm like <gasps> I need to get ready. Do y'all feel me? This is the finished look. I don't have my lip stuff on yet. Also I'm going to be like in a mask so... But, um, a lot of you probably literally don't care about the makeup, so that's fine. I am wearing the same exact outfit that I wore yesterday, so even if you couldn't tell, I'm outing myself. Because if you could tell, that's, like, really embarrassing. I am wearing the same exact outfit, but you know what? It's because I want to feel very bridal today, as I have been saying. And I don't have any, like, white things. And I also want to wear something that's, like, easy to take on, or take on, <laughs> easy to take off and put on that majority of our like kind of like poofier dresses are gonna be like right here okay so we can kind of go through these real quick okay cool to. yeah and i always like to tell people i didn't design it so you will not hurt my feelings if you're like that is ugly <laughs> okay just yeah. tell me because yeah. you won't hurt my feelings i promise okay <laughs> okay so here is this first one mm -hmm. what do you think has a little bit more of like a high yeah neck. i don't think i'm much of a high, high neck, neck person real? yeah cool on to the next Got this one again, kind of like that champagne color. Yeah, does have a thinner strap. I think I'm not in love with like yeah. big appliques. This is you really know what I mean? big, like, yeah. yeah. And once you like see it out of the bag, too, it gets even bigger. They're kind of like Hawaiian ish flowers, mm -hmm. uh -huh. so you know, it just depends. It's not everyone's for favorite. everybody. Yeah, I, mean, I feel like you're not gonna lie. Yeah, I don't <laughs> to be honest, it's very, yeah. very shiny, thick straps. Yeah, no. <laughs> Oh, that's totally. really pretty. This one's pretty. I like that one. I think one. you should try this one. Yeah, me too. Okay. Cool. I like it because you know me, I like pink. Yeah. yeah. So... I if I were to go off white, it'd be like yeah. side. Yeah. So I will say, one thing about the different color that is kind of like in right now, 
is because whenever you have a darker color underneath, it makes the white lace and like white beading stand out even more. Right. Yes. Right. <laughs> right. Nice. So if the you can literally hang on. Yeah. Right. I was about to say, like, I feel like I could like sit and like really? be like yeah, super actually function. function. Yeah. Because <laughs> some of them it's like, yeah, <laughs> you feel like you have to like waddle around. Yeah. Yeah, that bag is gorgeous. Take a little, take a little video. <laughs> yeah, what time we're gonna do bye bye? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I do really love this one. Yeah, <laughs> it's <laughs> it's hard. It hard. Now it's hard. Right underneath the back, exactly. Yeah. It really shows it off. Yeah. So it'll just go up like that. Even on the back of the train, yeah. there's still like a little bit of sparkle on the waist. Right. How about you, Mom? Mm -hmm. oh, so, another update. The dress that you saw before this blurry <laughs> mess is um, the dress that was number two. So, the dress at David's Bridal got bumped down to number three. That one got bumped up to number two. And then the one I got was number one, obviously. But I was like conflicted between the one I got and that one because that style was exactly what I envisioned myself in on my wedding day. Um, so I wanted to like love it. But I honestly, if I'm being honest, didn't feel like an absolute bride in it. Like I just didn't feel super bridal. I thought it was super pretty, but I didn't feel like how I thought I should feel until I tried on the dress that is the blurry mess. Um, and yeah so just an update i feel like in the back of so many oh, pictures it's crazy. crazy this one is kind of like less romantic and more yeah. like uh i don't know what the word is but like less romantic i think it's because yeah. of like the, there's not like a lot of ways yeah. like the but first. I, mean, I meant to say the word traditional um Honestly, looking back at the footage, I think this gown is so gorgeous. Like, I love the shape of it on me because it was the only, like, real mermaid dress I tried on. Like, boning. Like, there was boning inside of it. The other one that was my second choice that you guys saw um, didn't have <laughs> didn't have any boning in it. It was just, like, you know, it just sat like that. Does that make sense? Um, so that one had, like, legit boning in it how many times have i said boning <laughs> um so yeah i think it's really pretty but it just didn't look as romantic to me and she's a romantic bride you know what i mean she's not very traditional she said romantic my skin tone it's a little like stark yeah like, which isn't bad i feel like it's like that for everyone honestly yeah. because it, it, it is a very it's bright yeah. <laughs> with this it, you still get that bridal feeling you still get the white in there um this one's also really whimsical like the type of lace too that's on. Can you change it? <laughs> Make it a little emotional. <laughs> I kind of did that on purpose when I was making this playlist. Like, hopefully, whenever one of these songs come on, some of the girls will be like, "Oh, this yeah. song!" I like that. Just layers of glitter. Like, Hurricane. Mm -hmm. I think it's so pretty. I yeah. think it's this. Yeah, because I feel like it just like hides. I'm just gonna keep videoing so yeah, you can so look at it tonight. Yeah. If you want, I can put both of them on for you. I don't want you to stress. So I haven't talked to you in a while. Um, yesterday we went to bestow bridal and I found two dresses that I really love, which you guys might or might my which you guys may or may not see because I don't know if it's the one yet, so but we're going to their sister store today to try on some other stuff and then I guess from there we'll have a better idea so yeah look my mom is amazing she comes with me everywhere and she's been helping me a lot and and yeah so she's been the one doing all the footage and stuff so you're welcome thanks mom <laughs> nice there you go put these down perfect okay now one two three mama take pictures I'm taking a video. A video. Can okay, I face to me, please? Okay. Let's see what it look like. Always stay stand up side. Uh huh. You can like a little bit back. Uh huh. Like that. There you go. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
these dresses look humongous on me <laughs> like the boobs i can't stop laughing okay so th obviously the sample size for this particular dress was like like a 12 i think and it was just so big on me that the boobs look so hilarious um but the person helping us was so funny and so sweet and she reminded me of like my old russian teachers but yeah enjoy <laughs> Yeah. I think I do prefer like. She made me do that walk. No, that's. I like the other one better. You do? Mm hmm. Face to mama, face to mama, uh huh. Like more, 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 uh huh. Okay. Face to mama, I need you over there. Over there, over there, mom. Yeah. Now I have a long torso. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Hey, do you want to walk, B, so I can see the train when you walk? Keep walking. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. So I realized I didn't really update you guys since the last time my last um, clip. So basically, um, I went to Signature Bridal Salon, which I explained earlier is the sister store of bestow bridal and there they have gowns that you can order in your own size and then get them altered to you for like i guess it would basically be cheaper because they would be like closer to your size their sister store of bestow bridal you can't order things in the size because they're like off the rack basically i said yes to the dress um i haven't picked it up i haven't bought it yet i haven't like actually bought it yet but it's my dress i am going there on friday but basically, it's a one-of-a-kind dress. So, um, my designer is Allure, I will tell you that. So, basically, they have... A lot of designers do this, like a trunk. Kind of like a trunk show, but like a... Um, they just make, like, a bunch of dresses. Like, 50. And then they show, like, 30 of the... Or they show all of them to a group. The group who picks, like, the next collection. And then they pick, like, 30 of them. And the 20 that they don't pick get sent to like bestow bridal or signature bridal salon and so they have those ones on the rack and so they're never made ever again and you can never order them like i can't find it online i wouldn't be able to find it anywhere because it's a, literally a one-of-a-kind dress which is so amazing like i love that it's a one-of-a-kind dress but i didn't like get it custom made or anything but it's literally ex like everything i hoped for um it's so funny because i don't want to say too much Sam, if you're watching, click off. I don't want to say too much, but basically, um, I never imagined myself in a gown like this for my wedding day. Like, this was just not the one that, like, I had always envisioned myself in. But all the ones I tried on that I, like, envisioned myself in, just, like, I didn't feel like a bride. And then I tried on the one I got, and I literally just immediately, like, felt like a bride. Like, I was looking, it was funny, because I was looking in the mirror, and, like, my first thought was, like, oh my gosh, I'm a bride. And I, like, almost started crying. And then I was kind of like, wait, you shouldn't really like this style that much. Like, this is not what you envisioned yourself in. Like, I was trying to, like, close myself off to the idea of it, even though... I was like not wanting to be closed off like I wanted to try on everything but like in my mind I was like I'm still gonna settle for the dress that I've always envisioned myself envisioned myself in so so funny because I told you guys earlier but I was thinking of I wanted to like go dress shopping in like October because my birthday's in October and um 
all my bridesmaids are thinking of coming and visiting for my birthday. Um, most of them won't be able to come. Like half of them won't be able to come, but that's okay. We were going to go dress shopping then, but then a lot of places because of COVID like don't allow more than like four or like two brides. And so I was like, great. Um, I might just go to a couple that only allow two because the ones that allow four, they were like, we can be a little lenient, like depending on how many brides are in the store at the time. So like if I was the only one that made an appointment, then seven could come in because at that point it's like fine. But if they had somebody set for like two appointment, like if there were two appointments going on at the same time, then they would only allow four people. So I decided to wait on those places and then I ended up finding my dress. <laughs> so like, yeah, I'm just so freaking excited and it's um gonna be so amazing and i'm so excited for sam to see me in it but yeah so i'm filming right now i have my retainers in so if i'm lisping that's why i'm filming now just to explain kind of what happens um in the next clips you're gonna see because i don't think i'm gonna have time to explain it tomorrow so there's a pimple coming in basically um so today is tuesday tomorrow's wednesday i have a booked an appointment on friday for bestow bridal to go buy my dress try it on again pick it up the whole thing so basically we like negotiated a price down um the dress was in originally 2100 it became a thousand and now it's at 900 and so on friday i'm going with my mom sam's mom and sam's sister so that they can see the dress in person and then we're just gonna like buy it on friday but i was supposed to hang out with lexi i don't think she's been on my channel yet so you'll meet her tomorrow but she is one of my bridesmaids i've known her since i was like 10 like i've known her for a long time i'm so happy that she's in my bridal party and she lives here in austin she's one of the only um two people out of my entire bridal party and i have seven girls who live in austin um so sam's sister and lexi live here um and she and i were gonna hang out tomorrow and do, get our nails done because i'm doing my engagement photos on thursday basically my mom was like, do you want to go to another boutique just to like see what they have, you know, have another experience before we buy the dress just to like try on some more dresses and like have fun and to kind of just like see what other places have. Because we've only been to three bridal boutiques and two of them were like sister stores. So I was like, sure. So we boat, we boat, we booked a, um, an appointment tomorrow at one, um, at Blue Bridal boutique i think it's called here in austin so i just wanted to come on here and explain it real quick before i film it so we're not confused yeah okay so i'll see you guys tomorrow at blue bridal boutique hey guys so i'm here i'm waiting for my mom and lexi so this bridal salon is right next to a hobby lobby so my mom's in there she's going to the bathroom and then um Lexi is on her way. I literally changed in the car at the parking garage that we park at for Valley Austin and it was It was a trip. Let me tell you. So I just got here and I'm just waiting for them and I'm really excited The place looks super cute. Yeah, I'm just super excited. Like I love I love trying on dresses I'm such a girly girl when it comes to stuff like that And especially like the bridal experience is so freaking cute like the way you like step out and show everybody and everyone's just so excited like I just really want to like treasure this moment so that's also like why i'm vlogging because like i'm so sentimental and i love like looking at experiences again and again and like thinking about them again so it's really like i don't know what the word is i just have like a really fun time and i really enjoy like looking back at videos and like mostly videos like i love photos but like videos it really captures like what i was going through so yeah, I'm just super excited and I'm just waiting for Lexi. I'm so excited for her to be here because I've been wanting to do this with my bridesmaids, but obviously because of COVID, it's so hard and all of my bridesmaids are from out of state. So it's not all of them, but most of them. So it's like genuinely really hard, but I'm so happy I get to have someone here with me who's my bridesmaid. I love her so much. So yeah, you guys will meet her in just a bit. Okay. Wait, can I vlog for you? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can totally vlog for me. Okay. What do you think? You look booby. It does look a bit booby, but we can always try it on. I think you should try something that I think. 
Hi everyone, so we're here, we're doing it, I'm gonna cry, proud mother, um, subscribe to me. Ladies, are we feeling great, excited? <laughs> I know I am. <laughs> she said work. She said, oh, who is she? <laughs> she said snatched? <laughs> look at her. <laughs> Wait, you look so good in that. The, dress, the like, skirt is so flowy, it's so pretty. Can you face Work it, girl. Give me those angles. How are you feeling in this one? I can't tell with your emotion. It's the the long torso for me. It's the long torso. I feel like the strapless like cuts it here. And it starts here and it goes here. Exactly. Exactly what I was thinking. Grandma loves this one. Grandma said, who's sexy? Yeah. Grandma likes the sexy ones. It does show this off. Yeah, that's really nice though. Like it does show this off. Uh -huh. He's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 take your picture. <laughs> it's called it's the booty. This is like yeah. an elite, but it's like okay. very close to my skin. One, two, three. Not signed. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Grandma. <laughs> Ooh, look at her. Like this, but yeah. <laughs> she said smize. <laughs> really dainty or strapless, I feel like, because mm -hmm. yeah, you're so petite. Yeah. It's a little bit too big. Um, what do you call that? Applique. I feel like it's fine on the skirt because it's smaller. Yeah. Than the mm -hmm. okay. yeah. Um, Can you face She me? said pin it. The only thing is, because I'm short, kind of like what Olga was saying, mm -hmm. once they hem it, um, yeah. I'm not going to look as tall as I do right now because I'm on like a five inch thing. Yeah. Right? So when they hem it and I'm down on the floor, yeah. my foot's right here. So, like, I'm going to look actually like it's going to be shorter. Yeah. And I don't know if it's going to make my torso look really long or yeah. it looks really short. I think so mm. because. Yeah, I feel. Because I can't bend over, but like, yeah. it's tucked like that. Yeah. And then, like, as if it was hemmed. It will cut you. And then. It looks like you can't eat in it. <laughs> 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 well, I'm trying to think, like walking down the aisle, do I want to be like this and be like, do I want to be like, <laughs> you have to practice your walk, you're like, she said, <laughs> or do I want like a, and be like more like, yeah, we ride. I think I like the flowy. I do. I think really grandma and I like the, see, yeah. I like this for like party, yeah, for like, mm -hmm. but I don't know if I like it for like my wedding. Yeah. Just, like, you want it to be like classic, yeah, right. which this is. It's also a little hello. Really yeah. This is my favorite. Is that in the sample? This one is a sample. It's, we can do 9 dollars for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
<laughs> you like the other one better? Which one? The long torso? Oh. The difference is if you like this like subtle blushy, the like lace on it stands out so much more. It's really pretty. It like looks very wedding dress. It does look very wedding, doesn't Oh, okay. Look at me. I feel like I'm not a big fan on, of the the like ribbon. It is a, yeah, that's what I said. I think yeah. it does feel a little bit more like a normal dress. Yeah. Like I could so wear this for like a gala yeah. instead of like my wedding. A wedding. Yeah. True. Instead of like my wedding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm the bride. Yeah, I'm not feeling so it. What's your favorite? Do you like the tight one? Mm, I don't know. They're like all mixing up in my <laughs> head right now. <laughs> right? I need to see like pictures yeah, yeah, and then yeah. I can say that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the thing. See, that's, it's hard. Yeah. That's why pictures are Droop. Oh, she's kinda cute. Wait, I love the droop. <laughs> 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 Wait, I love the droop. <laughs> yeah, it's like droop. you don't like it? Yeah. I think my mom thinks it looks too like lingerie. What do you think about that? Grandma likes it, but I just feel like it's it's something extra. It's too extra. Well, she says like I like what the only want. thing with things like this is it when it comes in my size that fat thing. Uh huh. So she, um, mm. the last person saw you know, like at your first dance. If you can't lift your arms high, like if your partner game is, over like, more your height, like it's fine. But if you can't like go <laughs> can you not do that in that <laughs> dress? <laughs> And this is already loose, like, and yeah, it's my, like, what if it's like this? Can it be stretchy? I'm gonna, no, <laughs> elastic. <laughs> they add elastic in it? I'm like, <laughs> she's like, hi. <laughs> <laughs> she's dancing, like, oh, that's the only Just thing. hold their waist. <laughs> the boobies look so weird. I know, because they're so low. <laughs> my boobs. <laughs> my boobs. <laughs> I love the way that you look at yourself in the mirror. I'm like... <laughs> You're like flirting with yourself. <laughs> I've been zooming up on like each one and how you look at yourself in the mirror. <laughs> That's why I've been laughing. <laughs> oh God, details. <laughs> Wait. Oh my God. You look like you're supposed to be in a magazine right now. God. Wait, are you getting married? <laughs> getting all the angles. Wait, look at you. She's getting married. <laughs> Surprise. It feels real though, right? Yeah, especially with the veil on. Like, like okay. Wait, this is a good angle. <laughs> You're like bent over. <laughs> She's like, this is what I do for you. Love you so much. That's why you're here for me. What do we think? It's so easy. Quick interview. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Distraught. Could you see it in your dress? I could, yeah. I mean, I, I feel like really like bridal for sure. Very I feel bridal. very bridal. <laughs> okay. It looks like you're wearing like a necklace. Look, it's cute. Right, like it's its own necklace. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But you don't have to be something like you don't have to find. Yeah. Hey guys, so I just wanted to update y'all real quick. Um, so you guys just saw I went to Blue Bridal Boutique and it was super cute in there, like super, super, super cute. Um, but I you can see it in my face. Lexi like zoomed in on all my on my facial expressions like while I was looking at the dresses and just like nothing compared like even my top choice which is so beautiful like just did not compare like i just didn't feel the same way i was kind of like hmm, like i'd be okay with this but like it wasn't like the one that i have chosen so i'm so freaking excited um on friday i told you i'm picking up that dress yeah nothing nothing compared like if you're a bride or a bride, like bride to be, um, that's something that Maddie, um, the consultant at Bestow Bridal, 
said to me, she was like, don't focus so much on the dress because all of these dresses are beautiful. Like they're all gorgeous. They're all wedding gowns, obviously. She was like, you need to focus on like how it makes you feel. Like, do you feel like a bride? Can you really imagine yourself wearing this on your wedding day? Like, is this your dress? And she was like, I know that's like a really hard decision to make, especially because it feels like such a big decision, but you'll know. And I was like, okay. And that one just really makes me feel like a bride. So you guys obviously haven't seen it because I'm blurring it out because I want it to be a surprise to everybody. Um, and especially Sam, like if he ends up watching my video, which he probably wouldn't. <laughs> He's very supportive, but I don't think he'd watch a whole video of me just trying on wedding dresses. So um, yeah, but I'm so, so, so happy and excited that I found my dress. Like uh, it's, it's everything I hoped for. So everything that I hope to feel in my wedding dress. So I'm really, really, really excited. Hey guys, so I said yes to the dress. I'm so freaking excited. Um, so the dress I got was off the rack, one of a kind. So I got my dress from Bestow Bridal. If any of you are in the Austin area, highly recommend. Like, highly recommend, go there. I personally got to work with Maddie, who is absolutely amazing. If you're gonna work with anybody, please work with Maddie. I didn't get to work with the other ladies as much, but they seemed so lovely. So um, I would just definitely recommend. Um, their selection is a little small depending on your size. Um, since I'm so petite, I only have to, I have to shop in the smaller size because Bestow Bridal, since it's off the rack, it's not like they can order your size. Um, so I had to shop like in size sixes and lower because I would not be able to alter a dress that was bigger than that. So if you're small and petite like me, just keep that in mind. Um, if you're bigger, they only have like certain section for like bigger sizes but if you are between like six bridal six to like i don't know 12 there's like a huge selection so like yeah just wanted to keep that in mind but they are so amazing i cannot recommend them enough um i'm so happy that i found my dress i'm so in love with it as you guys saw i tried on a bunch of dresses i tried on so many i went to like four different boutiques um which you know isn't like a lot compared to like other people but i tried on a lot of dresses and just nothing made me feel like a bride like this one just made me feel so beautiful because it is an off the rack dress um i got to take it home right away even though my wedding is so far in advance so there's no other dress out there that is the exact same as mine which is so amazing i'm so excited to like walk down the aisle, I feel like a bride in it. Every time I put it on, I was like, this is my dress. Thank you guys so much for going on this journey with me. I love you guys so much. Like I said earlier, I wasn't planning on buying my dress right away. Um, I was planning on ordering my dress in January and it's not even October yet and I have my dress. So um, absolutely amazing. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me. I love you guys so much and I'm so excited for the rest of this wedding series. Please let me know what other videos you want me to post, what you, what you would like to see from me. Um, please subscribe, like this video, turn on the pu pu push notifications and then to follow me on Instagram um, and on Twitter, even though I don't really use it, down below. And y'all know what to do, it's 2020. We know how to use YouTube, so please subscribe. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.